हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट्स एंड नेटवर्क इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इनिशियल एंड फाइनल कंडीशंस इन आर एल सी एलिमेंट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इनिशियल एंड फाइनल कंडीशंस इन स्विचिंग सर्किट लेट्स लेट इस कंसर्व वन सर्किट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वोल्टेज सोर्स वी स्विच विथ एरो at t is equal to zero, resistor R and inductor L. This is RL series circuit with DC supply voltage and this is the switch. Arrow on the switch indicates that if the arrow is in downward direction, that means switch is going to close. If the arrow is in upward direction, that means switch is going to open. The uh, the arrow in downward direction with it, with time instead t is equal to zero, that indicates that switch is going to close at t is equal to zero it is assumed that closing or opening of a switch takes place instantaneously that means within no time switching takes place the network conditions at instant t is equal to zero are known as initial conditions the network condition at this instant t is equal to zero is known as initial conditions of the of the circuit if we switch on the circuit and Uh, the network remains as it is without switching action for a long time say 1 hour 2 hour or 1 day then the network condition corresponding to this situation is known as final condition or steady state condition final condition or steady state condition there are some notation in this uh, concept that uh, when we write t is equal to 0 that means the switch is Switch position is changed. T of zero minus indicates instant just before changing the switch. Just before changing the switch, because T is at T is equal to zero, switch is changed. T of zero minus indicates instant just before the changing switch. T of zero plus indicate instant just after the changing switch. T greater than zero indicates all the instant after switching. And T is equal to infinity indicates the steady state condition is reached. The circuit reached the steady state condition or final condition. Now let's see the initial condition in R. Uh, the circuit shows the voltage source switch which is going to close at T is equal to zero and the resistance. This is this is the current I flowing in the circuit. From circuit when switch is closed we can write. V is equal to I R according to the Ohm's law. This equation V is equal to I R is a linear and time independent equation. So it indicates that current through the resistor can change instantaneously if switching takes place. Switching takes place. That means R does not store any energy. So initial conditions are not present. That is initial condition in a resistor R is zero. At T is equal to zero plus resistor remains as resistor at T is equal to infinity. That is at final condition also resistor remains as resistor. Resistor remains as resistor. Now initial and final conditions in inductor. Now this is the circuit for in which consists of voltage source switch. Which is going to close at T is equal to zero and the inductor, and this is the current flowing through the circuit I of T. Uh, inductor has a property that uh, it stores energy in the form of electromagnetic, and uh, the current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously. That means current through the inductor before and after switching will be same. That is. I L of zero minus is equal to I L of zero plus means current before switching, just before switching, and current just after switching will be same. So I L of zero minus equal to I L of zero plus. We have the voltage and current relationship in case of inductor. Voltage across inductor is equal to L into D I upon D T. D I upon D T. This is the change in current with respect to time. Now at t is equal to zero, t is equal to zero plus means instant just after the switching t is equal to zero, so dt will be zero. Dt is zero means vl, vl is infinity as its denominator contains zero. 
so wheel is infinity wheel infinity infinity means open circuit so inductor acts as open circuit there are two cases inductor without initial current and not that means inductor does not have any initial current flowing through it so it acts as open circuit if inductor has initial current i not then it carries the same current it carries the same current as uh, before the switching because i of 0 minus is equal to i of 0 plus this is the initial condition in inductor now at uh, t is equal to infinity dt this is infinity and the denominator so vl will be 0 vl will be 0 so inductor acts as a short circuit so at t is equal to infinity again there are two cases inductor without initial current i not acts as a short circuit and inductor with initial current i not acts as a short circuit in parallel with that initial current i not in the same direction same position this is the equivalent circuit in initial as well as final condition of inductor then let's see what happens in case of capacitor initial and final condition in capacitor this is the circuit with voltage source v the switch which is going to place at t is equal to zero and the capacitor this is the current flowing through the circuit the capacitor stores energy in electrostatic form and also has the property that voltage across capacitor cannot change instantaneously so voltage across capacitor before and after switching will be same that means vc of 0 minus equals to vc of 0 plus the instant just before switching the voltage and the instant just after switching the voltage both voltages are same we have the current and voltage relationship in case of capacitor as ic current through capacitor is equal to c into dv upon dt dv upon dt means change in voltage with respect to time ampere now at t is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 dt is 0 so denominator 0 means ic will be infinity when current will be infinity when there is a short circuit so we are so capacitor acts as a short short circuit when t is equal to 0 plus again there are two cases capacitor without initial voltage and capacitor with initial voltage first capacitor without initial voltage view acts as a short circuit because uh, before switching there is no voltage no initial voltage so after switching there will be no in, no voltage so voltage will be zero it can be uh, shown as short circuit then capacitor with initial voltage view before switching uh, the capacitor having the voltage view so after switching it it must have that same voltage with the same polarity that means the capacitor carrying the same voltage with the same polarity so it can be shown with plus minus v naught that is the initial voltage now at t is equal to infinity ic is equal to c into dv upon dt as t is infinity so denominator infinity ic will be zero ic will be zero current is zero means capacitor acting as a open circuit so at t is equal to infinity again two cases one with initial voltage uh, and one with without initial voltage first capacitor without initial voltage vo acts as a open circuit as current is zero and capacitor with initial voltage v naught acts as a this initial voltage plus minus v naught carries the same voltage v naught with same polarity and the open circuit as the current through the capacitor is zero because the steady state is reached because the steady state is reached means final condition is reached these are the initial and final equivalent circuits of inductor capacitor and resistor uh, let's summarize this with this table these are the elements resistor inductor and capacitor with and without initial voltage and current these are the symbols an equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 plus that is that means initial condition an equivalent circuit at t is equal to infinity that means when steady state is reached uh, first element is resistor symbol is like this at t is equal to t is equal to 0 plus that is initially resistor as it is 
and also when final condition is reached, the resistance is same as before. So no changes with respect to time. Then next element is inductor without initial voltage. This is the symbol for inductor. At t is equal to zero plus, it acts as open circuit. It acts as open circuit. And at t is equal to infinity, when steady state is reached, it acts as a short circuit. The third one is inductor with current I naught. This is the symbol with initial current I naught flowing in in this direction that is left to right. Then at t is equal to zero plus, it acts as a current source with this with initial current I naught in the flowing in the same direction. And when steady state is reached, it will be drawn as a short circuit, a parallel combination of short circuit and a current source current source carrying the same initial current in the same direction. Next, capacitor without VO. This is the symbol for capacitor. At t is equal to 0 plus, it acts as a short circuit and t is equal to infinity, it acts as a open circuit. The capacitor with initial voltage V0. This is the capacitor having the initial voltage V0 with this polarity left side plus and right side minus. At t is equal to 0 plus, it acts as a initial voltage V0, V0 having the same polarity. And when steady state is reached, it acts as, it acts as an open circuit with, with and it carries a initial voltage V0 with the same polarity. These are the initial and final conditions in the, in the circuit elements R, L and C. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our first unit that is single phase AC circuit.